everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel before i get into this video i'd just like to ask everyone to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of when i post as you know i recently started this series on my channel where i take inspiration from flags around the world and create it on my eyes today's flag inspo goes to the democratic republic of the congo First, taking Oaklawn's Fire 8 Color Matte Eyeshadow Palette, I start with these three shades, Rebirth, Muse, and Creation, and use these as my transition shade. Next, I'll be cutting my crease using LA Girl Pro Concealer in their Yellow Corrector shade. This step was actually supposed to be third, but on this eye, I switched the second and third step on accident. You'll later see that this eye will come out a little bit darker than the other eye due to my little mistake that I made. I was actually on the phone with my sister and I got a little distracted, so I just flipped the steps on accident, but it's okay, the look still came out great in the end. And to just set the crease, I'm taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder and setting it in place. So here I'm just blending my crease into my transition shade. So now onto my favorite part of where I messed up. I used the color icon from the same palette. It was at this moment when I realized I screwed the hell up but I'm gonna keep going anyway. On this eye, I put it on top of the crease and on my other eye, I did it under the crease. I was supposed to do it under the crease to give the eye a little depth before I actually cut my crease, but like I said, I did it on accident, so we're just gonna move past that. So now I'm taking two palettes. I'm going to first use my Coastal Sense palette and I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm just going to place the blue on top of my cut crease. I also realized as I was editing that I could have just gone back over the crease with my concealer, but my brain wasn't functioning that way. So I just left it the way it was. So the DRC actually changed their flag about three times in the last 21 years and the flag that I'm recreating today is the flag that's been there since February 20th of 2006. February 20th was also the date of when one of the best music artists in the world was born, Rihanna. Rihanna's my fave and you already know what foundation I'll be using later. Fenty! So now here comes the real fun part. For my wings today, I'll be using my NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to start with their red shade, which is called Fire. Now for the outline, I'm going to take their white liquid eyeliner. I put this down before I do the yellow to make it pop. And of course, I'm going to take the yellow shade, and that shade is called Halo. So instead of using the brush that comes in the liner, I'm going to take my Tarte Etch and Sketch Double Ended Bamboo Liner Brush and just place Halo right on top. So now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and wipe it under the liner and getting all the eyeshadow that I have off. But I realized doing that, I actually cracked my eyeliner. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> And this is nothing new. I'm going to put my NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder on my brow bone and this is Synthetica. 
And now taking the same brush that had all of the blue on it, I'm going to just dust under my waterline with that shadow. I also put some black eyeliner on my waterline and then I went ahead and took some mascara and put it on my lashes. Now I basically have the rest of my face done. I'm just dusting up a little bit. Now, of course, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife, and it matches my nails. You know the video is almost over when we get to the lip. As always, nothing new. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Eyeliner. Now using my ColourPop Cosmetics Matte Lip, I'm going to take the shade Limbo and Beeper. And if you don't know, this is my favorite lip combo ever. So I first start off by putting down Limbo, which is the darker shade, and then on top I put Beeper. And here's the final look. I personally love this look and it's definitely one of my faves. This is only the second flag inspo I've done, but there will be more to come. So I'm really looking forward to creating more flag inspo looks. And if you want to see me create another flag, please comment the flag you would like to see and I will hope to recreate it for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like these, plus many more in the future. Oh yeah, and tell them Frizzy sent you. Bye!